Good morning to all our listeners. I am Lenora Vento Corby from Revival Time Assembly, where the senior pastors are the Reverends Lloyd and Norma Hart. This week I'll be sharing the daily devotionals, and my topic is on prayer. The Five Finger Tool. You may ask, what is prayer? Prayer is a conversation with God. In a conversation, it flows both ways, talking and listening. So when we pray, we must spend these intimate moments in a focused manner. Today, I want to share with you a tool to assist in this area. It is called the Five Finger Prayer, where each finger represents a category of people in our lives and gives us the opportunity to ensure the needs of others are lifted up before God. It is easy to go to God when something is bothering us or we have a burden. But God's word directs us to pray for each other, for those in authority over us, for the poor and those in need, and for the lost and hurting. It can be hard to remember all of these needs, which is why we can use our hands that can help us hold each person in the palm of our hands as we lift them and their needs up to God for his grace and wisdom, strength and healing. Let us start with our thumb. Take a look at how we stand or sit or even when we fold our hands. You will notice that our thumb is always the closest of our fingers to our body. We can use this as our prompt to start by praying for the people close to us, such as our own family, immediate family, relatives, friends, and those people who are closest to us. You can also use another finger to touch your thumb as you pray. Take time as you lift up each person in prayer and always take a moment to listen to what God may be communicating about our loved ones too. Remember, prayer is not only asking, but also listening. It's a two-way street. I am sure that each of us would like all our loved ones to receive salvation and could fellowship in the gospel for Christ's sake. So let us therefore embrace what Paul was telling the church in Philippians 1 verses 3 to 5. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine to you, making request with joy for your fellowship in the gospel. So let us pray in the spirit on all occasions with the kinds of prayers and requests as stated in Ephesians 6, 18. Father, we thank you for your love and the capacity you have blessed us with to love and to have loved ones. We pray that as we continue to pray for and have fellowship with our families and loved ones, great love will overshadow and cover them for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kindly log in tomorrow as we continue on the five-finger prayer. God bless.